there, Leo. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your monthly reading for the month of September of 2021. Yeah, thank you guys so very much for tuning in. So please keep in mind that this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also keep in mind that we could be speaking with a cross watcher here. Yeah. So even if this resonates, well, just take it as it resonates, you guys. Yeah, if it resonates for you in the sense that the roles are reversed, then just place it in your life as it fits. But don't try and place anything that doesn't naturally fit there. Yes? If you would like a personal reading with me, I am available for that. All of the information can be found in the description box below. Also, if you would like some extra monthly content or you would just like to support the channel, check us out over on Patreon, patreon.com slash the divine conversations slash divine conversations. Yeah. The, uh, lots of great stuff over there. The link for that can be found in the description box below as well. Alrighty, Leo. So let's get into your pre-shuffle energy. Overall energy for you right now is the lovers. Okay. So either we could be talking about love specifically, uh, a romantic relationship. I feel like there could be a sense of um, getting back into the game, feeling very confident in yourself ready to enter the love and relationship sector again, okay? Um, or there's something that you're moving forward with. I, I, I just feel like, Leo, there's a strong energy of you moving forward somehow, whether this is love or some sort of personal endeavor. But there's something that you're moving forward with that seems to be of, um, I heard, of greatest acceptance to you. So to me, that's translating into there's something that you're moving forward towards that would that is the best option for you. You you are there is a greater level of acceptance of what it is you're moving towards or what it is, what it is you're yeah whatever it is you're moving towards. So you may have had options, whether this be in love and relationships or whether this just be in like the alignment for your life, whatever the trajectory of life, what it is you're working towards, what it is you're moving towards. You may have had, had options and there is something that is the greatest option for you here that I feel like you have chosen, whether it, it, it's an actual person or it's like something creative for you. And that is what you're moving forward with, moving forward towards. Now, this also could just represent divine alignment because what you have here on the table is the Empress with the King of Wands and the Star. And for some of you, I may I feel like this is actually a love relationship, whether you have an actual person you're moving forward towards or you're just ready to get back into the game. Or it could be something that is in divine alignment with you. I don't, that you're moving forward towards. I don't feel like this is anything specific though, Leo. I just feel like you're in the process or you're in this mindset or this energetic alignment right now that has you feeling very confident, that has you wanting to move forward, desiring to move forward. And there is a strong creative energy, the empress that is behind you here, okay? The creative energy is behind you, is like the wind, the wind beneath your wings or the wind in your sail and you are moving forward confident here confidently here with the king of wands which also represents you leo technically right and then you have the star which is ahead of you which is leading you to a a, a really beneficial place and may and maybe this can be boiled down to leo in you just being willing to be in direct divine alignment with yourself Okay, and that's what's leading you forward, even though there may not be anything specific that you're moving forward towards, like it hasn't taken shape yet. However, you're, you're in the process, you're in the car and you're driving there. Okay. All right, Leo. Cool. So let's get into the rest of this here. I'm going to give this five shuffles for you and we'll see what other messages, what the rest of the messages are for you for the month of September. Yeah, or at least for this time period, whenever this resonates for you. This is one. For Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, this is two. Make sure to watch your Sun, Moon, and Rising signs for a complete picture as to what will be going on for you during this time period. This is three. This is four. 
for my Leos, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the month of September 2021. This is five. All right, Leo. Let's cut the deck here. Boop. All right. Overall energy for you, Leo. We have the three of pentacles. I really do feel like you're constructing something here. All right. And I do feel like this is physical. This could be business. It could be a business relationship. It could be an actual business, business partnership, or a romantic relationship. And if you're not actively building with someone right now, I feel like you're willing to do so. Three of Pentacles. Underneath the Three of Pentacles, you have the Queen of Wands, okay? Which is talking about, again, your divine alignment. Underneath the Queen of Wands is the King of Pentacles, okay? And then underneath the King of Pentacles is Justice, Leo. This is a lot of great energy. First of all, what I want to say is you are definitely experiencing or representing a balance between the masculine and feminine energies within you. Queen of Wands, King of Pentacles. And this is actually a really beautiful way of representing this or being in this alignment because the King of Pen, well, the Queen of Wands represents your divine alignment. You being in alignment with what is right for you. Okay, just being in alignment. The King of Pentacles represents that practical side of you that takes action to tangibly build something. And then you have the Three of Pentacles. For most of you, or for a lot of you, or at least a strong energy that I'm feeling here is this is business oriented. The physical, the mundane world is what I'm hearing. You're literally building something in the physical. Again, this could be an actual relationship with somebody else, but it also strongly feels like a business endeavor. Okay. And whatever this is, it's bringing justice into your life. Or it's bringing balance, karmic balance even, into your life. Excellent, Leo. Let's get into the rest of this here. So we're going to get into the first half and the second half of your reading. First half of your reading is going to look at the past energies up until the current moment. Second half of your reading is going to look at the current moment off into the future. Yes? Excellent. First set of surrounding energies for you, Leo. Sorry, I just did Aries reading. But Leo, first set of surrounding energies for you, Leo, in the first half of your reading. You have the Ace of Swords. Clarity, truth, and honesty. Coming to a clear understanding of what it is you want, or at least what it is you want to work towards. Ace of Swords is coupled with the King of Cups. Beautiful. So, so there was a level of emotional maturity that came into play here. I do feel like there was a little bit of energy of you having grown up to a certain extent. Aries, sorry, Leo. Maybe watch the Aries reading. Aries was a very excellent energy also. So watch that maybe if that resonates for you. But Leo... I feel like there's a level of you coming to emotional terms with something. I just feel, I, I want to say you grew up in a sense and you took a really mature approach to something or approach to some sort of point of view. And that's what helped you understand or get to this Ace of Swords energy, this clear understanding of what it is you want or of how it is you want to move forward. Emo uh, I also just heard overcoming some sort of emotional difficulty. Okay. And that has helped you put you, that has helped put you in this alignment of the Queen of Wands and the King of Pentacles. Excellent. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Leo, in the first half of your reading, you have, there's the lovers again. So Leo, what I'm feeling here is that you came to terms with something. You got over something. Okay. For lack of a better term. And that puts you in a position to make some sort of decision of what could be in greater alignment with you. This emotional maturity of the King of Cups helped put you in a position to really observe this, take this seriously, take it, to an, take it into account, and make a decision that was best for you moving forward. Or that is, excuse me, that is best for you moving forward. But we are kind of talking about the past energies up until the current moment. So maybe it was. Anyway, the lovers is coupled with, the, there you go, the six of swords moving forward. You made a very mature decision, Leo. And you were like, all right, I gotta, I've got to choose. What's going to be in greatest alignment with me? And thus you made that decision. And also that decision not only took you, is taking you further or taking you forward, but also what you 
the 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 what that uh shoot the stipulations of that decision that you made um was also in terms of what's going to move me forward and i feel like specifically what's going to move me forward in a smooth way i'm also i also heard discernment here so the dis the discernment is what's going to what's going to lead me to safety is kind of what this feels like what's going to move me forward in a safe and a safe and a guided way what's going to take me from rough waters to calmer waters and that's where this king of cups energy comes into play leo because there was a strong sense of emotional maturity that was needed needing to be accepted in order for you to make this best choice to move forward okay your challenge leo in the first half of your reading the ace of wands so what i'm feeling here is in the past aries something inspired you but the, the challenge was how do i move forward with this and something triggered within you, whether it was a an external circumstance or it was just time read, you were just ready, okay, to approach this in this way. But the challenge here has been being in the emotional mature stance to actually really take this inspiration seriously. Instead of approaching it and being like, whatever, let's just be frivolous. Let's just do it. You're like, no, 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 we're not doing that this time. King of Pentacles. We got to be practical about this. We got to be real about this. We got to take this seriously this time. Okay. Ace of Wands in your challenge is coupled with the Ten of Pentacles, Leo. Beautiful. So what I'm hearing or what I'm feeling, I'm hearing remedial school, remedial classes. Don't take offense to that. Leo, because it's not meant to offend you. It's not meant to make anybody, like I took remedial classes in, in, when I was a kid, like whatever. But it feels like you've grown up from that. You don't need to take those remedial classes any longer. It just, the, remedi the remedialness of this situation just feels like a lack of emotional maturity. But the 10 of pentacles is representing you having completed that life cycle that life process and you're now willing to rise above that and take whatever new adventure you have in front of you seriously beautiful closing message or potential outcome for you leo in the first half of your reading you have ah death good transformation leo I mean, I really, I just, I don't know. There is such a strong sense of emotional maturity for you in this energy right now. This is beautiful. Big transfer, transformation, I feel like on a soul level. Uh, hold on, there's a bug that I want to let outside. Hold on a second. Sorry about that. Okay, um, yeah, there is a level of you really transforming here with this death energy, Okay. Massive, soul level, big transformation. Death is coupled with the two of wands. Uh, what, I'm, what I'm feeling in this death energy for you, this is like that moment when a snake sheds its skin. Now, I'm not calling you a snake. And snakes aren't always bad. But that's what I'm getting from this. And I think the snake symbolism is perfect here because snakes are a symbol of wisdom. Or at least they can be. Okay. But a snake can also be representative of the negative side of wisdom that's used for personal gain at the expense of others. But that's not what we're talking about here for you, Leo. I'm talking about the image that I got in my head was with the death card right before I pulled the two of wands, actually, was of a snake molting or shedding its skin. So that is also representative of transformation. But this transformation is more than just, you know, a new you exposed, uh, a, a, a new you emerging. It's a transformation through wisdom that allows you to make a decision on how to, a guided decision, actually, what I heard, uh, to help you move forward, to help you decide what path you want to take now. Like you were approaching this crossroads 
as you were molting your skin, I'm seeing this snake slithering up to the crossroads. And as it's slithering up to the crossroads, it's in the process of shedding its skin. And it gets to the crossroads and it can't make a decision because it's still going through this process. But then once it sufficiently sheds this old version of itself, now it has the clarity and the understanding. And I just heard the truthfulness to make a decision moving forward. Okay, so what I'm feeling here is your closing message or potential outcome is a direct reflection of the lovers and the six of swords. Because remember, yes, the lovers can represent a, a divinely guided or a divine union or a divinely orchestrated uh, romantic relationship. But ultimately, uh, at its basis, the lovers represent a choice. And it represents a choice of vice or virtue. Vice being something destructive, virtue in being what is in a direct alignment with your heart, right? That is leading you forward, six of swords. And then at the closing message or potential outcome, you have the minor arcana version of the lovers, the two of wands, but that's coupled with death, which is spiritual energy, major arcana, and a big transformation for you, like soul level transformation, okay? So that's why I feel like your closing message or potential outcome is directly mirroring your second set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading. Okay? Excellent. Let's move forward here, Aries. Oh, jeez. I'm sorry, Leo. Maybe watch the Aries reading. Anyway, second set of, uh, second half of your reading. First set, oh, I'm sorry, looking at the current energy off into the future. Okay. First set of surrounding energies for you, Leo, in the second half of your reading. The High Priestess, mystery, the unknown, but I'm also hearing trusting the universe here. Uh, intuition. I feel like however it is you're moving forward from this point on, you're being guided. I'm hearing guided meditations, so I feel like you might be practicing uh, guided meditations a lot. That might actually really help you during this time. Um, Either you're doing this because you're aware of the fact that it's keeping your mind clear and it's keeping your direct connection of communication open with the universe, or that message is coming through because that re is what's needed for you or that's really going to help you at this time. The High Priestess is coupled with the Ten of Cups. Beautiful. Some of you are getting downloads in terms of what a truer expression of the Ten of Cups would be for you at this time. And actually, that's where the guided med meditations come in because that will open you up to the communication of the universe. Definitely getting downloads in terms of what would your ultimate fulfillment emotionally be. Beautiful. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Leo, in the second half of your reading, you have the Five of Swords. Five of Swords is coupled with the Ace of Pentacles. All right. What I'm getting here, Aries, jeez, oh, I'm sorry, Leo. Leo, what I'm, I don't know why, I don't know. I, what I'm hearing is your energy is directly related to Aries energy right now. So you could have Aries and Leo in your chart somehow. You could be dealing with an Aries right now. You could be an Aries dealing with a Leo right now. And like you're cross-watching for a Leo, potentially. I don't know. Take it as it resonates. Maybe go watch the Aries reading. But with the Five of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles, Leo, I feel like there are some energies that are directly opposing you. Whether that be just in... In, well, whether that be in non-physical form, non-physical beings, or actual physical beings or physical situations. But what I'm getting with this, Leo, is that you are still manifesting something new, and that is definitely against all odds. But I don't feel like this is in a negative sense for you. I don't feel like you are, you are in this against all odds energy just for shits and giggles, just to prove a point or just to create drama or, or whatever. I feel like you're just, uh, what I'm hearing, Leo, is that there are energies that are directly opposing you, but you are manifesting regardless. I do like that for you. I don't like that there are destructive energies trying to tear you down potentially, but 
C'est la vie. Oui. Okay. Your challenge in the second half of your reading, Leo, as if your second set of surrounding energies wasn't a challenge already, but like whatever. Your official challenge is the Four of Swords. Aha! Keeping your mental focus. There it is. Keeping your mental focus in the realm of this energy or this environment. Five of Swords, okay? The Four of Swords is coupled with, there you go, strength. Holding back, not popping off at the mouth, not getting involved in these stupid arguments or stupid fights that have nothing, that are not going to help you get what it is that you want. Makes sense. But also, Leo, strength is here, so you're showing up in your own reading. Again, I love that. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Leo, in the second half of your reading, you have... Ooh, the fool. Beautiful. I'm actually, I'm definitely getting a happy-go-lucky. I heard happy-go-lucky for you, Leo. I feel like whatever it is you're moving towards right now, you are super excited about it. I just heard direct alignment also. And that's what, number one, that's helping you, that's what's, that's what's helping you feel super excited. But number two, the fact that this is in direct alignment with you, Leo, makes it that much easier to be excited about it. Like it just, the excitement just comes naturally. I love it. The fool is coupled with, the Four of Cups. That's funny, Leo, but what I feel like here is what's adding to your excitement is the fact that you're moving away from or you're taking a leap away from what bores you, what no longer serves you, what you no longer want to be a part of. And what I'm getting from this is like you're literally skipping down the road like, yes, not only am I moving towards something new, but I don't have to be a part of that any longer. <laughs> And for some of you, I am hearing, Leo, that this is a long time coming, and that's only adding to your excitement. Good for you, Leo. Okay. All right. I'm going to get you some closing oracle guidance here. And I was hearing that the Crystal Mandala deck is appropriate, but actually the Gaia Oracle is really calling to me for you right now. Yes? So we going to do, do that. Okay. <laughs> All right, Leo. Five shuffles for you here. One. Two. Three. Four. For my Leos, Sun Moon is Rising, closing message for your month of September 2021. And this is five. All right, Leo. Let's see, what closing oracle guidance do we have for you this month? <laughs> Liberation's at the bottom of the deck. That's cute. Makes sense, though, Leo. So closing, official closing message for you, though for your month of September, or at least just this message for wherever this resonates for you. What is the closing message that we have for Leo this month? Ooh, this is beautiful. Card number 34, which does boil down to a seven. Uh, spiritual wisdom and good luck. Excellent. But that, that, but you see, that luck and that wisdom didn't just come by happenstance. You worked for it. That's the thing about the number seven. Number one, it's an odd number, so it represents friction or difficulty, but also it represents spiritual wisdom and luck, but luck just doesn't happen. It just doesn't, it just doesn't land in your lap. You have to prepare for that luck. Okay. You have to learn something. You have to work towards something, blood, sweat, and tears type energy. Right. And that what prepares you for a circumstance in which now all of a sudden you're looking lucky, but there's nothing, but, but you're not lucky. You're just prepared for it. Right. You have the hidden path which says the marriage of spirit and matter. Beautiful. Okay. You have traveled far in search of greater meaning and fulfillment, having made much progress and learning valuable lessons. You want to continue your journey, but the road seems to have come to an end. Where do you go from here? No physical path exists. However, there is a way forward. 
Between the trees is a symbol for an eternal life, and to the right, a symbol for healing and protection. This card is inviting you to move forward spiritually and offers you healing and protection along the way. Spirit and matter must now merge if true progress is to be made. Your rational mind must align with your heart. When heart and mind are both focused on the same goal, great things are possible. This is true spiritual alchemy. All you work towards can now be achieved. Beautiful, Leo. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I love you all so freaking much. I hope you have a fantastic month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of October. Yes? Excellent. Take care. Mwah! Bye. <laughs>